In this tutorial, we're going to create an online dashboard which lets us monitor what people are saying about a certain topic or issue online. We're going to use a free, simple tool called Addictomatic. To get there, click into the location bar on your browser, type in addictomatic.com and press return. That loads up the page. We're greeted by a friendly robot and a big search bar. Click into the search bar and type in the keyword that you want to monitor. It could be the name of a policy you're working on, it could be a campaign that you're running, or maybe just the name of your organisation. I'm going to type in Olympics because there should be plenty of online content about that. Press return and Addictomatic builds our dashboard. As you can see, it pulls in content from a variety of online sources and brings it into one place for us, which is quite handy. We've got tweets from Twitter, we've got mainstream news items via Bing, and we've got blogs from Google. As long as people have updated their content with the keyword that we've searched on, it's going to appear here for us. And it's not just text, it's Flickr for photos, and YouTube videos appear here too. Again, as long as the person creating them have tagged them with the word Olympics, they'll appear on our dashboard. And there are lots of other services that are used too, as you can see from the list. Now, this dashboard will be constantly updated, so when I look at it tomorrow, it's going to have different content on there, so I need to save it. But that's quite straightforward. We don't need to create an account or anything like that. We just save it as a favourite in our browser. So we just right-click our mouse button, click Add to Favourites, give it a name, and click Add. It's as simple as that. When I want to visit the page tomorrow, I'll just go to my favourites, click Olympics Addictomatic, and it loads up for me. And hopefully it'll have some new content too. We can customise our dashboard as well. For example, maybe we don't really know what Twingly is, and FriendFeed looks like it's not very useful for us. So let's not have them appearing on our dashboard. All we have to do is click the top right-hand cross in each of the boxes, and they disappear. It's as simple as that. One thing we have to remember to do, though, is to update our favourite, so that we've got it reflects the uh, changes that we've just made. So right-click again, click Add to Favourites, keep the same name, click Add, and then just say yes. We want to overwrite the previous shortcut with the one that we've got. You can also share your dashboard with colleagues and other people. Just click into the location, make sure it's all selected, right click and click copy. You can then paste that link into an email and send it on to other people so that they can take advantage of your dashboard too. And that's how we create a simple dashboard using a Dictomatic.